And welcome back. This is Baller Scuba again with another StarCraft 2 commentary. I am the Red Terran here in the south up against uh, Swerve. Nice name. Uh, no, I really mean it. Yar. That guy's awesome. Uh, <laughs> the Blue Protoss in the north. Uh, this is Novice Desert Oasis again. I promise there's uh, the practice maps are almost over. Um, I am still scared out of my mind when I'm playing these games at this point, but I am hoping that I can still teach you guys some minor things uh, to the game. Uh, this is uh, the first uh, good Protoss player that I've played against. As you can see, he is chrono boosting his his Nexus. That is essential for Protoss. As you can see, he is a he is slightly ahead of me on the Harvester count. He you should see that number climb with that chrono boost. Uh, it does make whatever building it is working on produce whatever units it's working on faster. That is necessary. Uh, for Protoss in the early game, uh, it really counteracts any mules I may get. But as you can see, I can't get any mules until I get a barracks, uh, which is why that barracks is going down. Uh, I do want that orbital command as soon as possible. He is warping in a gateway nearby his base. Um, later on, you might see uh, proxy uh, gateways with maybe... Um, a pylon here, uh, maybe a gateway, or just trying to warp it in, um, but because this is a novice map, that's not really uh, something you can see in the practice league. Um, he is uh, going for that second pylon, does want that food. Um, as you can see, he's almost out, uh, no longer chrono boosting. Um, Going for a cybernetics core, that is essential for stalkers. Uh, zealots really aren't that great against Terran. Um, almost all uh, Terrans are ranged units. <laughs> uh, so zealots really uh, aren't the most effective. Stalkers are a much better option for the Protoss in the early game. As you can see, I'm not really bothering with uh, the block off on this map. I just set my rally point right in front of those rocks just uh, as an assembly point. Um, a pretty standard play for me at, uh, right now. Uh, he is chrono boosting zealots, uh, probably just for uh, defensive measures at this point. Uh, really doesn't know what I'm going to be going for if I go for that re reaper harass, which would be great, which is so great on this map. Um, wants to have some kind of defense so that he does not lose the game due to a harass. Uh, it's quite embarrassing when it happens, trust me. You'll be seeing that from me later on as I lose horribly. He is still ahead of me on the harvester count, uh, but as you can see, I am getting more minerals thanks to this mule here. Thanks, buddy. Um, we are seeing quite a few uh, pylons coming out. Uh, going for a Robox robotics facility. I can talk, I swear. Um, <laughs> we might be seeing some Colossus coming out. That would be great against my army. Uh, uh, most uh, most Terrans go for the MMM build against Protoss. That is what I'll be going for here. Uh, I really just sent that first uh, Marine there to be a scout. Uh, as you can see, he finally gets a reinforcement coming out now. Uh, robotics facility. No, instead going for an observer. Uh, that's a great move at this point. Uh, really, the only way for Protoss to scout uh, would be to go for the observer uh, early on. Uh, he does have a sentry. They are critical for Protoss early on. Um, I'm, I shouldn't be really talking too much about Protoss. I am not the best Protoss player. That's why I play Terran. I do have a second barracks going down, engineering bay. Instantly going for the weapons upgrade. I am getting stim pack as well. We should be seeing the combat shield and the concussive shells uh, soon after. Looking at the production tab here, uh, just doing a lot more work than he is right now. Um, as you can see, he's not producing anything at this point. Um, I am going for that combat shield. Uh, the stim pack did finish. Uh, he is going for a robotic space. Sorry, I have to check it. Not exactly sure what everything's name is at this point. Uh, he does have the warp gates up. 
Uh, he is getting a few stalkers. Uh, well-rounded army there for the, for the Protoss early, in the early game. Um, it does put that observer right in the middle of my base. Uh, he can see definitely everything I'm doing. Um, does he see my army at this point? Oh, he is following it. Uh, following the rally point and does see uh, my small little army there. Uh, we're pretty much evenly matched at this point, I would say. Uh, I might have the advantage due to that stim pack upgrade that I do have. Does he have any upgrades on the zealots? None on the zealots. Um, do I have any? I do have the weapons upgrade. I am going for the defensive upgrade. Uh, we're seeing an expansion uh, just finished right now. We should see that morph into an orbital command if I am smart. I don't know if I am at this point. I am. There we go. Straight into the orbital command. Uh, on this map, there's really no need to be going for the planetary fortress uh, this early into the game. This uh, this army here should be plenty to hold off anything that he can muster at this point. And since he does see this expansion going down, he is warping in his own to match it, including the assimilator. Uh, we'll just call it gas. And the pylon. Uh, not seeing that big of an army coming out from him. Uh, we are seeing the Templars, the High Templars, are so good against uh, the infantry ball that I'll be coming out with, as is Colossus, Colossi, uh, but he just does not have enough gas at this point. Um, as you can see, he's only got two, maybe? Two? Does look like two per gas here. He does need three on there. Uh, that both the similar is going down really fast. We are seeing a uh, decent saturation from an opponent. Oh, maybe even too much here. Oh, we are seeing a transfer go down there. Uh, but the energy on the Nexus is going way too high. We need Chrono Boost on some things. He should... Where is that Observer? Right in the middle of my base, he is seeing uh, four. He should be seeing the four racks. He can see me getting um, the upgrades f in the engineering bay. He should be assuming that I am going full infantry here. Um, finally, an expansion going on on the tech lab, just in case uh, he was uh, confused <laughs> about what I was going for there. Uh, but that observer does see everything, does see I'm not producing anything at this factory at this point. Um, do I even go for the siege upgrade? Um, I don't see it, but he is going... Oh, he does get the Colossus. Uh, Colossus is going to be so good against my infantry ball, especially with that sentry. If he can get a force field down, keep my army away while that long-range Colossus wipes them out. It would just decimate my army. Um, we are seeing that I am going for nothing at the factory. I am going for the reactor at the starport. Really no need for, uh, I feel, to go for the Banshee Harass. It's way too late in the game to be doing that anyways. I do have a uh, pretty good saturation. Let's look at the income tab here. I'm just absolutely smoking him <laughs> across the board at this point. Um, uh, he really needs to be uh, getting more gas, it looks like. He's uh, really low on gas as opposed to, to his minerals. Uh, mech build uh, from the... Uh, I'm not sure quite what to call it, but Colossus definitely are heavy on gas. We should be seeing... He should be getting that range upgrade, the Thermal Lance upgrade for the Colossus. It is so important against and so effective against this infantry ball of mine uh, that he should know is there. I'm not sure how much attention he's paying to my base at this point. Um, he's really just... He, uh, and his placement of the army is, is just bad at this point. He's conceded all these rocks and this expansion to any army I may be sending in. Um, really just focusing all his tech into uh, this really small area of his base. Uh, do we see any 
There's a sentry, but no high templars as of yet. Uh, nothing warping in. Uh, the high templars once again with that size storm so effective against this army could take it down in a couple spots here. There goes the observer, seeing the medevacs there. How does he react? He starts by producing a void ray. Void ray is not going to be doing much against my army here. Um, just the one by itself. Uh, not that effect it can be effective against this army if he focuses down the marines which is a hard thing to do with a void ray but just one against this army is not going to be doing much we are seeing that i'm still saturating bringing down those uh mules